presumably innocent person. I mean, let's just forget about the fact that they're testing them for victimless crimes. But, I mean, they haven't even done anything wrong. So it's like... Right. Well, when you're talking about a traffic uh, stop, uh, whatever, if they're going to hand out a ticket, how long does it take them to write up a ticket and get it to you and zoom, they're gone? I've... The, the few times I've gotten a ticket, I, I, I think I've had them as fast as like five minutes. Right. It doesn't take that long to do it. I mean, for many people, time is the most valuable resource sure. in the world. And and these police officers are taking what is a an innocent person because you're innocent until proven guilty. And they're taking por- portions of their lives yep. that they will never get back. And in if in the case of uh, the, these drug dogs, the uh, the Supreme Court has ruled that there's that they can walk a drug dog around the car if they're not holding you beyond a reasonable amount of time or whatever. But they didn't tell them what a reasonable amount of time was, and the police believe that they're always reasonable. We have never done anything unreasonable, so <laughs> you know that's the situation here. They can hold you for two hours if they consider that to be a reasonable amount of time to hold you. Yeah, but the real question is, what would you say to somebody that says, you know? These stops are really important. They're preventing deaths. What, what would you say to that, Mark? Well, when you're talking about the, I mean, okay, the stop, but if if the stop is to have a drug dog walk around the car, the police officer has had how many minutes at this point to look at the person, see whether, I don't know, they look like their eyes are going in three different directions at the same time or whatever. I mean, if, if a... Uh, if, if a police officer is visually, uh, you know, inspecting and talking to a driver, I don't see what a drug dog's going to do walking around the car as far as making the roads safe. Mm-hmm. Now, is it going to find out if somebody have drugs in their car? Sure, but that's a that's not really a public safety issue as much as just let's just check every car. Um, you know, every mm-hmm. time everybody gets on the road, let's just make sure everybody doesn't have some drugs. That won't be a problem. Your time isn't that valuable, is it? Right. Exactly. I mean, we don't work for a living so that the government can, you know, get paid off of our dime. They think that you do. Let's go to, is it Monica calling in uh, on Skype? Moco? Mocona? You're on Free Talk Live. Can you hear me now? Have I pushed the wrong button, Daryl? <laughs> My, uh, there we go. Let's try this. Hello? You're on Free Talk Live. Now, I think that there's something wrong with the audio that uh, when Ian's been f- fixing the computer. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe Skype isn't working this evening. <laughs> I'll give you the telephone number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We actually were doing some... Uh, Stuff with the computers. Ian has uh, been changing some of the automation uh, software, so you know. How convenient! Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think that we're just out of luck as far as uh, Skype goes this evening. So I'm going to continue with the article, and yep. uh, hopefully they'll be able to call in. Um, but so it says, but that argument met with strong resistance from several members of the court, particularly Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Indeed, Sotomayor went so far as to suggest that the court's recent Fourth Amendment ju- jurisprudence, jurisprudence, sorry, it's really hard to say that word for me, was flying off the rails due to its pro- pro-police deference. There is a sample of what Sotomayor told the government lawyer. I have a real fundamental question because this line drawing is only here because we've now created a Fourth Amendment entitlement to search for drugs using dogs whenever anybody's soft because that's what you're proposing. And is that really what the Fourth Amendment should permit? We can't keep bending the Fourth Amendment to the resources of law enforcement, particularly when this stop is not is not incidental is not incidental to the purpose of the stop. It's purely to help the police get more criminals, yes, but then the Fourth Amendment becomes a useless piece of paper. Sure, I mean, if you're allowed to do these fishing trips where you just search everybody, then reasonable, the prohibition in the Fourth Amendment against the reasonable search and seizure is is pointless. I mean, you know, that's not what the founders uh, had, that's that's not what their expectation was. They didn't have prohibited substances back then that I know of. They weren't really interested in doing that to people. You know, I think it's really 
important. And I've been, I guess this is my little hang up that I've been having lately is a lot of people refer to the founding fathers when they're trying to decide what is right and what is wrong. And, I, you know, the founding fathers <laughs> were no more omnipotent and omniscient than anyone else. So, you know, it, it's really about logic and it's about, you know, I, I, I'm going to put on my objectivist hat here from them because I think objectivism proves a lot of points very, very, very succinctly. <laughs> um, and I use it to prove points, not as a religious uh, dogma. But, you know, it's really important to look at the fact that logically it doesn't make any sense to do this. It's not even about what the founding fathers intended. It's about, you know, the fact that we own our own lives and we have a right to those lives and the time that is ours. And they're using up the time that we own. And, and I you know, I didn't give them any permission for this. I don't know. You know, I didn't sign the social contract. It's so. ultimately just kidnapping if they keep somebody it against is. their will. So 855-450-3733. Your thoughts on this or anything else? Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. You ever hear about Ghost 80% AR-15 rifle kits? At Guns80.com, they are the 80% specialists helping to protect our privacy. Look, there are forces out there right now trying to register guns for future confiscation. UN treaties threatening our Second Amendment, our freedom. You need a ghost AR-15. Is this George Hello? or Moko? Um, this is Mokono on Skype. My name is I'm Hassan from New York, and Mokono is just my Skype name. Uh, okay, uh, character we, from we an anime show. We... What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over seventy percent of the way to its goal of twenty thousand participants, and they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Ovaltine. Give your kids the nutrition they need to be their best. Visit us at OvaltineUSA.com. Telling your child about healthy food choices is important, but showing her what to eat goes a lot further. Have her help create the grocery list, then bring her to the store with you. Picking out healthy foods together helps kids get in the habit of thinking about what they're eating every day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! 
What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. And you can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Lauren Rumpler. 855-450-FREE. You can join more than a million people, millions of people, in fact, who have trusted LegalZoom.com for their common legal documents. Whether you need to file divorce papers or uh, do, do immigration paperwork, bankruptcy, disability benefits, DUI, DWI paperwork, wills, living trust, living wills, pet protection. They do it all at uh, LegalZoom.com. They do it likely far more cheaply than you can find it uh, f- from an attorney. Now, they aren't attorneys, but they were started by one. It's LegalZoom.com. If you use coupon code FTL, you can save 10 bucks on your order. LegalZoom.com, coupon code FTL. All right. I think I've got the Skype situation uh, worked out here, thanks to Daryl W. Perry. And we'll go to Hassan from New York. Hassan, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Um, I wanted to comment on a statement that Ian made two days ago in relation to like wireless being an alternative to wired internet, for example, using 4G service. Okay. And basically so let me, the yeah, issue let, is... Okay, let, real quick, uh, let me uh, sort of reset this for people. Uh, what we've been talking about to some extent is uh, net neutrality. Specifically, the one of the arguments around net neutrality is, is that there's really not a free market since uh, there's only a few ways to get internet. It's basically this uh, tight cartel of cable companies, um, telephone companies, and satellite satellite internet, which isn't, you know, I mean, it has its latency issues and that sort of thing. And then Ian proposed that uh, 4G is also another way to do things. Yes, but the main issue is that it's essentially like outrageously expensive to actually use it. Recently, um, Consumerist did an article on the on the cost of actually streaming the entire series of Breaking Bad over your internet connection. Okay. And basically, for, for wired internet, for example, if you use Comcast, you can stream the entire series right. for as little as $30. Basically, okay. you'll get it within a month. If you were to do the same thing on 4G, you would spend nearly $2,200 for the same exact streaming. Yeah, that's an issue, right? Yes, and and the wireless system works. Wireless is still largely a collision domain, What's meaning that, mean? that you can't have two transmitters transmitting on the same exact frequency at the same exact time okay. within range of each other, or they will cause destructive interference. Makes sense. And so because of that, whenever you have a 4G cell tower in an area, you basically have a limited number of ban- a limited amount of bandwidth available in that specific area. So, for example, if the current wireless technology allows them to do, let's say, two gigabits over 4G, then everybody in that wa- that area within the range of that tower is sharing that pool of bandwidth at that point. Yes, or however much they can get from that tower. You're based saying on, that like, uh, the modulation using wireless as an internet. Uh, system is uh, largely impractical yes it's because it doesn't scale well yeah the only way that it really scales is if you reduce the range of the towers and then add more towers yeah i used to uh what i live out in the woods and at one point basically the only option for internet for me was 
over, you know, from the cell phone. So I got this thing called an air card, which is not uncommon. I got a special router that you could plug the air card into which you could plug the air card and then uh, broadcast, you know, 3G throughout the house. Some days better than others as far as, uh, you know, connectivity, but none of them would allow me to stream a YouTube video, uh, you know, straight through. You couldn't just sort of click on it and watch it. You'd have to click on it, pause it, and let it charge up. Um, you know, it was probably better than dial-up, but not broadband. <laughs> yeah, and because of that, you essentially have some of the same limitations as the old-fashioned network hubs. If there are multiple people in the same area transmitting data, then they each have to wait. So they'll basically wait a random amount of time and then another for the network to clear up for the most part. Got it. Because of this, the more people that are on, the higher your latency gets. Yep. Thanks for but the call. for wired communications, I just want to bring up wire, wired ones. Okay. For fiber, they've been, they haven't found a limit of how much they can push through it yet. Oh, really? They've, yeah, it's like for fiber octave, over a single strand, there were researchers in Denmark that were able to do 43 terabits per second over a single strand of fiber, which Those is gains. about three times the amount of traffic as the entire planet's as, current internet consumption. Yeah, the internet now. <laughs> okay. Yes. Wow. So I guess fiber is the way to go, huh? Yeah, that's why they call it the 100-year infrastructure. They haven't found a limit yet, but each time they try to push more through, it handles it with no problem. Thanks for the call, Hassan. Let's go to... Uh, call, uh, I don't know how to work this thing here, uh, Daryl. Sorry, we'll go to George. I just don't I don't know how to make these things come up. Maybe you should get net neutrality guy here. Indeed. George calling in from, I think, the D.C. area. George, can you hear me? Hey, Mark. What's on your mind? Mark? Yep, what's on your mind? Oh, I'm on it. Yeah, well, I was just calling about, um, I got my W-2 here, and I'm just wondering, and just trying to f decide whether or not I should file my taxes or go the Ian Freeman route here, considering I haven't actually paid Uncle Sam in nine months. Well, <laughs> um, I would... <laughs> I don't think I filed taxes for a great number of years. <laughs> it, it depends on what you make. And, uh, you know, that's as far as I think that there's a there's a bottom amount that you uh, a floor um, that that, uh, you know, is involved. I think uh, if you're making less than 10,000, I am not a, a CPA. Please do not quote me on this. Do not take this as uh, <laughs> financial advice. But it's there's some number, I believe, that if you make less than that, you don't have to file a return. Um, I don't know what the numbers are that you're making, but, you know, I mean, it's it, people oh, yeah, who choose also, not to file taxes or, you know, be smart possibly. about it. If you have a high income, they're going to notice. Well, it's not like I have for, you know, you know, like Ferrari income or anything like that. However, um, basically, it's, it's like I was told um, recently told that I had to file some kind of estimate income estimate thing where um it's like every four months or so i gotta send the irs a check apparently like no one told me this yeah it's you know, every three I'm now employed or something like that and it's just like part of me is like i just want to say for, screw it all you know and just not file considering ian has for you know many years he's not filed and apparently they haven't gone after him and i don't think you know my income i don't think i make more than he does yeah i I, I can tell you tens of millions of people in the United States uh, don't file, you know, don't file, don't pay taxes. There were, let's see, in 2009, I did this uh, this research, or for the 2009 tax year, I did this research, so I did it after 2009. Um, 144 million returns were filed. There's 300 and, eh, at the time, maybe 305 million people in the United States. Uh, some of those people are too old to file, some are too young to file, but... It's pretty safe to say, and some of them are married, so some of those returns of those 144 million are married returns. But it's, I think, safe to say something like at least 60 million Americans, working age Americans, are just not filing. Um, so no, you, uh, you pay your taxes, right? I um, am okay. So Free Talk Live is owned by an organization called Shire Free Church. I am paid less than uh, the amount that I need to to file, and so the Shire Free Church just takes care of my expenses. Ah, okay. But before that, before that happened, you were 
doing that whole thing over four months or so. I was filing, but I didn't have to pay in. Usually, I didn't have to pay anything in taxes as far as, you know, the way that the tax system worked. It just, I didn't make enough to, it was right on the edge, you know, like either I'd get a small amount for the head of household or in, earned in a tax credit or whatever it was, and uh, or so, sometimes oh, I'd have to pay a little bit. Okay, because so like I was told that since I didn't send in the money every four months, I was going to pay a penalty, and I was kind of curious what that was, and you know. I never had to address that, and I, I do appreciate the call. Thanks so much. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle so week cute. after week, <laughs> month after month, that adorable. turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Lose the winter blues and warm up with hot flooring deals from Lumber Liquidators. Thinking about hardwood? Consider bamboo. We've got the number one brand and we'll help you get it for less. Like Strand Bamboo. It's twice as hard as oak and for a limited time, it's only $1.99. Why pay as much as $4.99 for bamboo at other stores? We've got deals in over 70 styles from an incredible $1.79. Plus, pre-finished hardwood, laminate, and more for less than half what you'll pay somewhere else. And 18 months special <laughs> financing. Now is the time to warm up your home with new floors. So visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. If the the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account. You need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you in the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Wall and Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Wall and Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Talk Live, 
855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. I've been roundly chastened by Ian coming into the studio about my not being able to handle the uh, button pushing. So, you know, my apologies to everybody. I don't know how to work <laughs> these machines. You know what? In your defense, I probably couldn't do it either. Yeah. yeah. 855 free. You can call in or we're lrn.fm on Skype. We've got archives at Free Talk Live that are going back for like a decade. You can get... 10 years worth of free talk live, six or seven days a week, depending on how far back you go. Um, three hours a night. When, I guess it, it comes down to two hours when you uh, pull out all the radio ads for the podcast. But it's a it's a great way to listen. And, you know, if you've got a commute or exercising, working in the garden, whatever it is that, you you know, the, re, the way you listen, you listen Free Talk Live, we've got lots of content for you. It's archives.freetalklive.com. To, uh, Depending on the topic, it can be uh, some pretty good kickboxing material. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, uh, you've you been taking up kickboxing. You have, uh, have to have something to listen to. Let's go to Tom calling in on Skype. Tom, you're on Free Talk well, hello, Live. hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? All's well. Good. All right. Are, are you folks aware of the um, the other... Free State Project that's happening in California. There's a, fr- a Free State Project happening in California. No, I mean, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, it's called the State of Jefferson. Okay, yes, I, I see. So that's a, a little different. What's uh, going on in California is like the northern counties of California up there by Eureka, um, likely places like that, and the southern counties of Oregon have for. I think a century or so been trying to kind of split off into another state that called Jefferson. It would be the 51st state. Yes. Well, we have um, a real active grassroots move, movement going here in Northern California mm-hmm. uh, to make it happen. And um, we have a strategy. Okay. With uh, People can go look at it on jeffersondeclaration.net. Okay. That's jeffersondeclaration.net. And what we have is that we have a, um, a petition to uh, separate from the state of California with the issue being taxation without representation. And uh, Because you're just basically on? outvoted on everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> outvoted on everything. Uh, we have uh, in the whole California state legislature, we have – uh, four representatives uh, of all of what would be the state of Jefferson. And, and how many that, representatives are there in the state assembly? <sighs> close to a hundred, I believe. Uh, okay. Los Angeles County has Los Angeles County alone has thirty-four representatives. Right. So, so I mean, you know, they, they, there's this voting block in uh, Los Angeles County, which is essentially all urban and has very similar needs, wants, and desires. They also, yes. to some extent, uh, the real sticker for you guys, um, the thing that's gonna be difficult is is that you got the water and those people down there in uh, los angeles and san diego area they're living in a desert that's been reclaimed and they need the water so the reason that california didn't want to let you guys go is is you've got the water that that you're sitting on top of all their water (laughs) (laughs) well actually the water is pretty much a non-issue okay uh once the feds came in and built the dams the, the water is contracted under a federal contract, and okay. the feds do what they want with the water. And as a new state, we have uh, we still have to honor all those contracts. Um, I I do oh, have a question. Um, not to take the wind out of your sails, because I, I think that's great that you're okay. trying to separate. But I'm just wondering, why are you not pushing for complete separation from the United States? Well, that would um, – that is a much – higher mountain to climb um we would rather work within the united states and kind of uh if we could get a free state on the west coast and a free state on the east coast maybe we could uh, do like the railroads and work towards the middle yeah i think that uh, there's some, I, I think that there's you. some differences between the free state project and the the, the state of jefferson idea i am not going to disparage the state of jefferson idea what I see there is is uh, people that, you know, you're talking about these counties in southern Oregon and northern um, California, which have very— yeah, at, the, at the moment, actually, southern Oregon is not participating in okay. this. Okay, so we're just talking about northern California. 
Yes. Still bigger area than, say, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, and Vermont combined. Um, you know, I mean, it's about that size. Uh, and what the, you know, what the issue is, is uh, you guys want, you have very homogenous sort of uh, living circumstances there, and you're poorly represented in your uh, state capital. California's gigantic. It's most of the western seaboard. It mm-hmm. should be its own country, and it isn't. Um, <laughs> and so you guys just don't, you, you're, you're getting overrun. I, I agree. Um, I think that it's it's a good movement. I, I just I was wondering why you weren't going, you know, full on leaving the United States. But I agree that you should at least separate. I think separating into your own state would actually help you lead a movement to get free of the United States Um Fully, actually. I I think it would make the movement a lot easier if that's the route you want to go. And I, you know, always recommend that route. Now, I think you're there well, are long ways off just because you want can get people to uh, say, hey, let's not be part of California anymore. It's unlikely you'll get them to say, hey, let's not be part of the U.S. But I think the difference with the right. Free State Project is an or, it's an organization with the idea of taking, you know, going to a state, working within that state apparatus to have a, uh, you know, a, a libertarian paradise, essentially. You know, libertarians move, liberty loving people move to New Hampshire with the intention of doing whatever it is they do. Some of them work within the government to, uh, you know, create a, a, a government where protection of life, liberty, and property is all that the government does, which is a heck of a lot uh, less, a lot more than than they're doing today, or excuse me, a lot less than what they're doing today. So um, that's a, just a different thing. You guys want to create a different state. The Free State Project wants to free a state. So you know, there's, there's different things. I support you. Okay. I just don't think they're the same. Well, we want to free a portion of a state. Is yeah. there a uh, <laughs> is there a website that people can go to to learn more about your project? Well, uh, JeffersonDeclaration.net. JeffersonDeclaration.net. Tom, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the call. 855-450-FREE. Interesting. I should have him on my show to talk about that. I would love to do a whole thing on, on that movement because I've been talking about it for a while with a, a few people. I, I've been very interested in it. Yeah, the idea of uh, secession, independence, uh, states breaking, you know, uh, geopolitical organizations breaking off from other geopolitical organizations. It's really interesting to me to think about a hundred years ago at the, I think it was the start of World War One. there were fewer than a hundred countries and now there's about 200. So you've seen a doubling in the amount of uh, nation states around the world. And, you know, nobody says, looking at that, that secession's impossible. But when you talk about it here in the United States, just sort of civil war, that's it, right? Like, that's I think all any, there is to say. <laughs> I think any breakup of any kind at this point within, even just within the United States, is a good thing, honestly. I just think that smaller and smaller factions is is better i think if if we broke up every state into half i feel like we'd have actually a better chance of of being able to secede because that i mean that it would take a smaller vote in order to actually secede well wouldn't it allegedly you i mean you're gonna so i would say on the whole you would see with smaller uh geopolitical organizations you would have um better representation essentially you would be you know represented if you live in a town of a thousand people then your vote is more meaningful than if you live in a city of a million right like so if you if a million people vote in an election for mayor you might as well take the day off uh you forget voting because it's not going to make it you're not going to make that one vote difference but if it's a vote of if there's a thousand people in town and only 200 of them go go vote, you've got a you know half of a percent chance of being the deciding vote. And generally, you're going to see the elections be closer than um, you know. It's it's less than randomized, so your chances are actually higher. Yeah, than that's half why a I advocate that if if there's going to be government at all, um, local government is the highest level at which I think is even reasonable. Because I mean, you can't expect a vote to count on as large of a level as the federal government i mean you just have zero impact and i mean in a world where we're attempting to not ignore the minority i mean federal government is the definition of ignoring the minority sure i mean when you're voting on uh you know for if you vote if let's say uh pick a blue state vermont um if you're a republican in vermont 
and it's just a presidential election. Obviously, there's other elections that go on at the same time as the presidential one. So I'm I'm just this is a hypothetical. But if it was, you might as well statistically might as well not even bother voting for the president, uh, for a Republican president, if you're in the state of Vermont. And likewise, if you're in Idaho and a Democrat, your your vote for president is going to be meaningless because unless it is 50 percent plus one vote. You're not going to get those electoral votes, and it's not going to make a difference. Lose, You lose by one vote, you lose by 10 million. It doesn't make a difference in our system. So it's messed up, but that's what we got. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Majid lives in nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. Silver is trading at $18.22 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,291 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $234. Antiwar.com reports, after months of on-again, off-again ceasefire, Ukraine resumed its civil war this week, attacking eastern rebels. Russia is leading the calls to get the ceasefire back in place, urging a cessation of hostilities and for everyone to withdraw their artillery from the front line. The U.S., which has never been keen toward any of these international ceasefire plans in Ukraine, is once again outraged by the plan, calling it a Russian occupation plan. The U.S. complaints center around Russia not having a full rebel surrender as part of the peace plan and similarly not promising to give Ukraine military control of the Crimean Peninsula. Crimea seceded from Ukraine last year and was annexed by the Russian Federation days later. The initial Minsk ceasefire sought to bring the rebel east back under Ukrainian control with promises of reforms. With the reforms not happening and the rebels refusing to disarm in the absence of them, the latest Russian ceasefire proposal isn't nearly as ambitious as the Minsk one and is focused instead on just stopping the war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. 
Wired reports Silk Road, for its more than two and a half years online, was an unprecedented online narcotics emporium. But according to a journal found on the laptop of its alleged creator, Ross Ulbricht, Ulbricht wanted it to be even more, a brand that extended from communication tools to banking. In the trial on Wednesday, prosecutor Timothy Howard read aloud from a journal that was found on Ulbricht's Samsung 700Z laptop, which was seized at the time of his arrest in a San Francisco library in October. 2013. The journal, which goes back at least as far as 2010, seems to provide the most detailed look yet at Ulbricht's plans for his libertarian contraband market. And the journal reveals that before his arrest, Ulbricht had allegedly planned to create a Silk Road brand chat software, currency exchange, and more. According to a 2011 page from the journal, Ulbricht had allegedly planned to expand the Silk Road into a brand people can come to trust and rely on. Silk Road Chat, Silk Silk Road Exchange, Silk Road Credit Union, Silk Road Market, Silk Road Everything. The roadmap for Silk Road was never detailed in public by the Dread Pirate Roberts, the figure who ran the market and often authored posts on the Silk Road user forums describing the market in revolutionary libertarian terms. Albrecht's journal will likely serve as the centerpiece for the evidence the prosecution has assembled to prove the narcotics conspiracy, money laundering, counterfeiting, and other charges he faces. Albrecht's defense attorneys have suggested that they'll show that while Albrecht did in fact create the Silk Road, he gave it up to the administrators who would become the Dread Pirate Roberts. Roberts, they argued to the jury in their opening statement, eventually lured Ulbrich back onto the site to serve as the perfect fall guy. The defense has yet to explain how a detailed journal of planning and managing the Silk Road ended up on Ulbrich's computer. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Vice President Joe Biden said on Wednesday there's a chance he will try for the Democratic presidential nomination in 2016. In an interview with ABC's Good Morning America, Biden said he has several months to make a final decision if challenging former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the Democratic frontrunner and presumptive candidate. Biden said, yes, there is a chance, but I haven't made up mind about that. We've got a lot of work to do between now and then. There's plenty of time. None of the potential candidates in either major party have made formal announcements. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. During a curt Skype session earlier this afternoon, local Williamsburg resident, 29-year-old Cormac Flanagan, reminded his mother to, quote, try and be more careful after she forgot to pay his cell phone bill. Mom, the phone company called today about my cell phone bill. Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. No, Mom, I'm not mad, but you had to stay on top of these things, you know. I know, you I know. You can't keep waiting until the last minute like this. Well, I don't want to have to keep reminding you every month. You know, I need my phone. I use it. All, every every day, I need I my phone. I'm, I I'm constantly I'm, I'm so it. bad. I'm I'm really sorry. sorry. I'll, I'll get on it. Today. All right, you know, just so you know, you know, this really easy thing you can do. You know, there's this online auto pay. You just deducts in your bank account every month. Yeah, quite yeah. Easy. I, I know. Okay. I know. I, I know. It's fine. I know it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just don't let it become a pattern. You know, I, I know. I know. I know you can do better than this. Uh, okay, I, I promise. I'll get on it today. Okay. This is the Onion News Network. That's 855-450-3733 for those of you who, well, you know, maybe you don't have the, the letters on your phone. It's uh, That's kind of an old-fashioned thing back when the phones were attached to the walls. Have you ever seen one of those, Lauren? You're kind of a young gal. Have you seen phones attached to walls? Yes, Mark. Okay. I've seen phones attached to the walls. It's, it's got to be amazing for you. Back in my day, <laughs> we had our phones. 
curtains attached to the wall. We in my at my house, uh, my mom installed an extra long phone cord so we could sort of walk around rather than <laughs> being like stuck there because it was about a six foot phone cord was basically what you got, and you know, you're trying to work that around. You know this one, but it was always sort of. Crumply and it'd be a mess. I'd you know trying to make it work. Mark, I love your old man stories. Indeed, <laughs> they're my favorite. But um, you know, speaking of old man stories, do you remember when it was bad for you to drink during pregnancy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, um, that was I, a good transition, right? <laughs> I I've got to say, yeah. That's what we, that's what we call a segue. Let's it's radio talk. Um, segue. The, <laughs> We're yeah. all official and legit now. Here from the Raw story, apparently in Great Britain, um, they have ruled that heavy drinking during pregnancy should not be considered a crime of violence. Now, I think that this is this is a rather interesting um, situation because, well, it's pretty obvious that you're going to harm your child by drinking. I mean, there's 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 good old fashioned science that proves it. But uh, we'll get into that here in a second. It's uh, Chris calling in from California. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing? And hey, look, anyway, uh, you know how you're talking about the Silk Road and all that? Yep. Yeah, we, we were talking about that well, yesterday, yep. Well, let me tell you, uh, I this guy's completely innocent, and he's a hero. You but think so? I know so. Did, Did he- you do it? Didn't he, <laughs> didn't he admit in open uh, open court that he uh, started the website and uh, that sort of thing? And yesterday's uh, testimony was, uh, you know, his diary and and that kind of thing. What do you, what do you think about those pieces of evidence? I don't care if they if they say he's guilty and in, in the court of the Federal Reserve thing. He didn't do anything wrong, you know, uh, according to common law. In I fact, see. he helped people. You know, Mark habeas corpus. Show me the body. Yeah, well, they can't prove it. Yeah, you know what the thing is, though? Look, I mean, <laughs> you know how I usually rant about how we should lynch homosexuals and uh, all the in the police? Uh-huh. Well, I, you know what I think? I want to talk about uh, WebBot and some of the predictions WebBot made. Okay. And it says that there's going to be an uprising and stuff and all kinds of stuff. So I think, you know, it says that today the ECB did something that's going to make Europe start to crumble uh, this weekend and it's going to start to get worse and worse and stuff. And what is the ECB? What? The what? The WebBot predicted that today the European Central Bank okay. uh, made some kind of financial thing that's going to screw up Europe starting this weekend. And what is WebBot? You never heard of that software program uh, that was used to predict stock trends based on combing through millions and millions and millions of things on the internet. It's now been it's predicted 9-11 has successfully predicted... Uh, Hurricane Katrina, you've never heard of WebBot. This um, sounds not real. Well, I have heard of real WebBot. Apps, it's a software program. I have heard of WebBot, and I wanted to uh, make sure that we, you know people were clear on what it was, because I can assure you many of my listeners have not heard of WebBot. But yeah. answer me this. Now, I could see perhaps, you know, they, something online might, you know, might get some web traffic of some, uh, you know, extremist groups or whatever and be able to predict 9-11. Okay. And I think that the prediction, by the way, is a little shifty just like uh, it's like Nostradamus predicted something uh, but the how in the world is it going to predict Hurricane Katrina more than two weeks prior to Hurricane Katrina making landfall what it did it basically taps into the collective and conscious and looks through millions and millions and millions of files and different things on the web and tries to put together patterns Computers work on probability, so yeah, but basically what this does is it puts together what the public's searching for and thinking and typing in all different forms, and it tries to put together patterns. Yes, but what headed. does that have to do with Katrina? I mean, the, It predicted the, that. Yes, I, I hear what you're saying, that it predicted it, and hey, I would like to know what predicted means. R- roulette players predict numbers, too. <laughs> <laughs> this it doesn't sound very credible. Not like that. <laughs> Not to the, you know what this thing is recently predicting? Okay. It says that... It, it describes in graphic detail how Joe Biden is going to be eviscerated. It describes all the blood and guts. And eviscerated. Uh, he's going to be blown to bits. Yeah, it says he's going to be. Does it give a time frame? <laughs> yeah, that, it says that. It but says, wait, no, what's, what what's the time frame? I don't know what it's. Uh, it just says he's going to get whacked, and I don't know. There, the time frame's on there. Well, time frames are important when you make predictions because other because at this point, uh, you know, in the future, Joe Biden could get uh, eviscerated. And then when Joe Biden dies, it could be saying, oh, it was another Joe Biden or whatever. You know what else? 
You know what you might love that uh, WebBot said recently? Okay. It says that the mortgages, all the mortgages aren't going to be on the MERS system anymore. They're all going to use the block and chain technology Bitcoin uses. Oh. They dig that. I think it's fascinating. Trippy. I just don't believe it. Hey, guess what else oh. WebBot predicted? That a massive earthquake would occur in December 2008 in Vancouver, Canada, and the Pacific Northwest, but no such thing ever happened. Mm, well. I mean, when, about, I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day, so. Oh, well, you got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call. <laughs> <laughs> I have jokes. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I love a caller to go out on, uh, you know, a, a good one. <laughs> there you go. Rawstory.com. A British court on Thursday. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been accused of having jokes. There you go. That's great. I'm witty now, it turns out. Lauren oh, Rumpler jokes. is witty. Objectivist girl is not. <laughs> A British court on Thursday ruled that heavy drinking during pregnancy should not be considered a crime of violence against the child in a case that um, had raised concerns about criminalizing mothers. The case was brought by a local authority applying to the government's criminal compensation authority for damages on behalf of a seven-year-old girl in its care who has severe disabilities after her mother drank heavily while pregnant. We have held that a mother who is pregnant and who drinks to excess is not guilty of a criminal offense under our law if the, her child is subsequently born damaged as a result. The ruling said, that's my British accent. What do you think? <laughs> it's, it's not my cockney. I think this might be a really great show without Ian here. <laughs> um, We're doing the best we can. <laughs> The local authorities' uh, lawyers had argued that the mother was reckless in her behavior by drinking up to a half a bottle of vodka and eight cans of strong lager a day while she was pregnant. This lady has a real problem. <laughs> well, they did not dis suggest the damage was deliberate. They said that she discussed her drinking with professionals and went on to take the risk. The ruling centered on whether a fetus can be considered a person under English law. The case has sparked heated debate over the dangers of alcohol and the rights of women and fetuses in a country where abortion has been legal since 1967. So why do they mention abortion in this, uh, this article about drinking while you're pregnant? I was just wondering the same thing. <laughs> well, I think that it's, um, if you can, so, I mean, if, a, <laughs> I, 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 because a fetus is directly linked to a baby right like this it, i suppose makes some sense if you can damage i don't know what the link is is there an explanation for why they would include that yeah i think that if you can so the the idea here is if you can kill your child which i guess is what uh, an abortion is right like it arguably okay um then you can you might as well be able to damage it it's the mother's body right like she has the right to her yeah. body and the fact that a child occupies that apparently is incidental so what do you think about this case as far as a woman having the right to drink we know that science you know we we have science strong science that says that drinking while pregnant causes causes what we call fetal alcohol syndrome oh I, oh okay all right I see what you okay the so kid's gonna be here's a dum -dum. the thing here's the thing of course she has the right to drink I figured that what we would be talking about is whether it's harmful or not. No, it's not really harmful. whether it's. I mean, people have a right to do with their body as they please. I mean, if anybody would like to take me up on that debate, I'm totally in for it. But I've never heard a good argument against it. So. Yeah, I think it's a really difficult situation because in the case of being pregnant, you're not just getting you drunk. You're getting a little unborn person drunk who uh, is going to wake up or going to be born a dum dum as a result. What do you think? 855 450 dum -dum. free. Free Talk Live, 855 450 free. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Majid lives in Nordavin, Armenia with his wife, kids, and grandkids all in the same house. 
They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, January 19th, 2015, gold opened at 1276.40. A one-ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1322.93, 661.47 for a half ounce, or 330.73 for a quarter ounce. That's 1258.35, 661.47, and 330.73. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You like buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at Forum.LRN.FM. That's Forum.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Lauren. And um, you know, for those that uh, wish to know, Ian is, this is his night off. So, you know, tomorrow night, Ian will be in here with... I, 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 is is Daryl W. Perry um, and uh, I'm not sure who else on <laughs> Friday evening. I don't do Friday evenings. I'm off always the same night. So there you go. Mm -hmm. 855 450 free free talk live. If you want a free pound of coffee. I'm oh, gonna, yes. Yeah, that's right. You're a fan of BuzzBox I coffee. I love BuzzBox coffee. I, too, am a fan of the BuzzBox. It uh, is shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. What do you like about it? Just tastes great? 
Um, I am a bulletproof fan. Okay. I love bulletproof coffee. Now that means that you add like a stick of butter to your coffee. No, you do not add a stick of butter. It's it helps you get fat adjusted, fat which will adjusted. end up end up helping you lose weight because having more fat in your diet makes you less hungry. Yeah. Um, and it helps your metabolism speed up. So fat is really good for you. So you add two pounds, or I'm sorry, two tablespoons of two pounds of butter two tablespoons of butter and some very concentrated coconut oil i see and it's really amazing and really good and you want really organic coffee and so i love buzzbox coffee because first of all i get that awesome organic coffee i get the variety that choice Mm -hmm. um i'm doing the commercial for you aren't i yeah yeah, so i get that variety and choice that i i want in coffee because i can order any type of coffee and i can change it up each month and i get mine you know at six weeks inter six week intervals you can get it at two you can get it at four you can can set it how you want yeah and it's great um anything from two to eight and so Buzzbox coffee is awesome because it's top 1% Arabica bean. Yep. It's organic. Shade it's shade grown. grown. And of course, you give micro loans. That's true. You could give. Uh, what, and what I it? feel good every time I drink a cup of this coffee because I'm like, I'm helping people start businesses. Not only do you get great tasting coffee, but uh, some of the profits go back uh, to us and we're able to give micro loans through Kiva.org. So you can help people and upgrade your coffee drinking experience as Lauren has. Just go to coffee.freetalklive.com to get your free pound. You can sign up on the subscription. You can cancel it anytime. You want to get the free pound. You decide you don't like it. That's fine. You pay the shipping. Shipping, and you get a free pound of coffee. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to, I think it's Cullen uh, calling in. Cullen, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. How's it going? Well, um, first of all, Lauren, you did a great job hosting the Lacey panel in Keen Bench, and I actually just watched that video the other day. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I, I was so honored to be asked to do that panel. Yeah, well, you, well, you know, I actually thought that was that was probably the best panel I've watched so far. Cause, you oh. know, it was a lot more personable, I thought, than the other panel. So I thought that was pretty cool. cool. Yeah, well, watch the media panel that I hosted. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Mark, Mark, yeah, yeah. You know what? I saw that one. I haven't watched it yet. I will though. I promise. You. I'm just, but, I'm um, just I, fooling with you. I, yeah, yeah. Lauren's a lot better to look at than I am. <gasps> go right ahead. Oh, that's not true, Mark. All the ladies got crushes on you. <laughs> All the good it does me. So what did you want to talk about, Colin? Well, I wanted to say, actually, that I'll be in Keene, New Hampshire, um, provided that the weather in the states between Maryland and New Hampshire permit um, the weekend after this coming one to look at <gasps> properties. That's awesome. exciting. So you're moving up for the Free State Project? Are you a signer of the Free State uh, Project? Um, I have not signed up yet. But wow, I, I, attack, Mark. It, it sounds <laughs> like you have the intention to move, so you should sign up at freestateproject.org. It's okay. Just... It, it'll be all right. When you come, we can talk about your potential future, and I will tell you why you should move here. Mark, chill out. Okay. <laughs> be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. So we, uh, yeah, I mean, the Free State Project is an, a project to move 20,000 liberty-loving individuals to one state. That state is New Hampshire. The idea is, is once they get here, what they're going to do is, is they're going to do whatever it is they do in order to be active towards creating a society where the maximum role of government is the protection of life, liberty, and property. And that looks like a lot of different things for a lot of different people, right? Lauren, you've cre- you create media. Uh, yes, I do. I, um, I mean, I was just thinking, I, I create media, but I feel like that's not the right phrasing. I live media is, is really truth. what it is. And there are people that have, uh, you know, gotten into the legislature. There, as a matter of fact, they've created an, helped create an organization called the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. There are currently in New Hampshire, unlike any other state, there's a libertarian veto. So. 25% of the state legislature in New Hampshire is rated as a marginal libertarian by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance based on their voting records. And, you know, that just doesn't exist in another state. So is that what's attracting you there, Colin? Uh, yes, yes. And actually, and, you know, and particularly in Keene, what's attracting me to Keene is all the cool stuff that goes on there. I mean, I mean, Ian does a lot of cool stuff, obviously. But when I go up there, I'm hoping to see, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to get the full experience. You know, I want to see Rich Paul smoking weed in Central Square, and I want to see Garrity and drawing smileys all over the place. No, nobody smokes weed here. 
I, I believe that a uh, Colin. I believe 420 activism was done today <laughs> on Central Square. So um, I suspect you'll uh, you'll you'll get your wish, Colin. Cool, Colin. Um, add me on Facebook, and um, I'll show you around Manchester too, because Manchester is really fun. Manchester constantly trying to recruit away from Keene. What are you yep. going to do? Sorry. <laughs> Colin, Hashtag thanks. sorry, not sorry. <laughs> thanks for the call. Yeah, yeah, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mark, it is on for real. I'm just, uh, you know, we are not going to lose all the good people to to Keen. I know it's exciting here, but when you're ready to settle down and 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 talk philosophy, you move to Manchester. You know, there are a lot of people in Manchester, but uh, the the Free State Project really is an idea to uh, get people sort of spread out so they have uh, <laughs> they they have influence over all different areas. Because if you're all concentrated in Manchester, then f- you know, what if you guys are running for office against each other? That actually happened, as a matter of fact, um, in one circumstance. The Democratic candidate and the Republican candidate were both Free State Project movers. And that's awesome because it's no good. matter who wins, it's a Free Stater. Why is that a bad thing? That's great. It, that is great. But if you have a bunch, like, if you have uh, I eight, say eight if, in the primary, then you're going to be losing out on people that could run in other races. That's all I'm saying. Mm. I, I'm just saying that the more people we run for office, even if it's three Republicans as the option and they're all free staters, uh, what is bad about the only options being free staters? I, I don't have that particular problem. I just uh, I'd, I'd like to see them spread out a little more. Let's go to Tommy <laughs> in Glasgow. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live. Tommy, can you hear me now? Hey, they'll take your lives, but they'll take your free talk live. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, okay? It's good. We're t- talking about uh, drinking while pregnant. Apparently, the uh, the, the, the wise court uh, folks in the UK decided that it was just fine and dandy to drink while pregnant. Indeed. And, uh, listen, you got jokes. You've got a nice laugh there. You got jokes. What's your name again? You got jokes? <laughs> Lauren. Lauren, how you doing, Lauren? I'm well, listen, good. It, it's, listen, it's, uh, I was just torn up to talk about the old drinking when pregnant. You know, in Scotland... You, 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 is, you're you're from young... Ireland originally, though, Tommy, so you might know a little something about uh, drinking. If you would just uh, hold on here for a second, uh, we'll bring you right back. 855 453. Sorry to all the Irish people. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. 
Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I just heard the best sales pitch I've heard in a long time on an airplane. The flight attendant announced, if you paid more than $75 for your round trip ticket, you overpaid. This is brilliant because everybody on the flight paid more. And I was struck by how all the road warriors stopped typing and reading and working and looked up. The announcement invited us to apply for the airline's credit card. And the sign-up bonus? Enough frequent flyer miles for a free round trip. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. With some banks offering free credit cards, $75 is an outrage for an annual fee, but a bargain for airline tickets. For more tips on communicating more effectively, hit survivalspeech.com, where you can see how I got the CEO of another major airline to shower me with freebies. I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Call in, talk about what you like here on Free Talk Live. That's terrifying. <laughs> we're we're live if you're on if you're listening from seven to ten PM Eastern time. It's That's Mark so with you. Long. And Lauren. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. What but you're you're on the you're constantly producing some kind of content, Lauren. Um well, I took the past three months off, which you, is great. I needed that vacation. You sing. You do produ- produce uh, more than one uh, radio program. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the singing. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, funny thing, and I uh, I told everybody that on shows I'll be kind of laying out the things that I'll be doing in the future. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to tell everybody I will be doing is a music video. Uh, I'm working with Bo Davis. And the creator of 101 Reasons uh-huh. Film and Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. And so I will be creating a music video, but it will not be for any of my ob- objectivist songs. Oh, very it good. It will be a cover of a very popular song with libertarian lyrics. 855-450 free. Let's go back to Tommy in Glasgow. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm part Irish. My family came from Ireland and, and Scottish. But in Ireland and Scotland, you know, every year they're competing each other uh, for to be at the bottom of the league for, you know, mortality, death mortality for, for drinking, you know. And it's a kind of rite of passage as a, as a young kid in Scotland and Ireland that your mum, uh, you know, drinks at least a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of vodka a day, you know, because that brings you on as a... That brings you on as a kid, yeah, of course. You know, it stunts your growth. I mean, Scottish people, you know, when you look at Nazi Germany, when they were doing eugenics, Scotland was doing it backwards. We've been trying to kill ourselves before we go out our womb. You know, so the mum sits there and goes, oh, my God, I'm pregnant again. You know, with some 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 kid who didn't know the father, she didn't know the father of. So that's why she drinks herself to death and her poor kid. So, and that's why, and it's my theory why most people are, are alcoholics because they're, they're borderline alcoholics before they come out of the womb. And that is no lie. You might think I'm kidding, Mark, right? I mean, I, I'm lucky I was blessed with a good mother and I'm a good strapping lad, six foot two, you know, and so... Uh, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of Scottish people who have got stunted growth. And I kid you not, Scots, who, if you look, are in a small... And, and there must be a reason because of that. And the reason is, until just the last 20, 30 years, uh, or to, maybe even just 20 years, uh, there wasn't any public health saying, oh, you know, drink is bad when you're pregnant. So people went about doing it. 
And that would explain where if you come to Scotland, right, and if you look at the women, you look at the men, uh, predominantly, you know, they're, they're, they're down at 5'3", five, 5'4", five, and that is very small for a man whose who's average worldwide is, you know, 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, uh, and and for, for millennia, if you look at the Chinese being very small, then you can also look... Uh, to the, 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 the second and third generation Chinese Americans who are now basketball players almost seven foot and that's got to be in something what they ingest and what they eat and if you look how if you get a chicken from uh, its egg to full maturity in six weeks whatever pellets or whatever foods uh, that were given to our animals is being passed on and hey do you know what my son he loves chicken so I've been giving him the old chicken He's as big as an ox. You should see the size of him. He's going to be a basketball player. It's, it's, it's eugenics. And this is happening. And you have to understand, it, it might be, you might think it's an old granny's tale, but you are what you eat. You are what you eat. Be careful what you eat. For myself, I mean, I don't drink, uh, and, and I try to eat uh, food that has had the blood, the blood cut from it. Uh, you know, it can either be halal or kosher, but uh, I prefer the halal version myself. But yeah, you, you're better taking the, the blood out of an animal uh, prior to that and, and, and say a prayer to God and say, thanks for giving us this wee thing here that, you know, we can, we can feed ourselves on because in reality, everything, you know, that we get from the, the osmosis, from the, it's a unique global biosphere that we live in. And yet as human beings, we abuse it. The, the corporations, the governments that abuse the planet in our name, you know, 30 million life species uh, life species are at threat in the next 20 to 30 years. We're killing the planet. You know, they talk about, uh, you know, climate change. I'm not change. even sure this has to do with drinking anymore, <laughs> but it's awesome. I <laughs> know, just keep talking. This is great. I'm getting, no, a, I'm getting a question here. Uh, somebody wants to know I'm about equal. what you think the benefits of eating oats are. <laughs> Oats, porridge, oats is what made me the man I am. I'm off my nut, but hey, who cares? No, you need <laughs> porridge, oats. My granddad, God rest him, he came from Belfast and he made this porridge, oats, and he steeped to oats. And as I said, I always curse the fact that, and I say to my mum, why didn't you learn how to cook the porridge like my papa? Why didn't you learn how to do it with my granda? Because he used to steep the oats uh, overnight and then he would boil them and the porridge that he would produce. I've tried everywhere to get the porridge. So your oats, take your oats and uh, swing your oats, go, and, go sow your oats, as long as they're not royal oats. You know, if you look at all, have you heard the story recently about Royal and uh, royal Prince Andrew? Yeah. I, sowing his royal, I, I, his I, drunken royal oats were sown with a poor young American lassie, and it's not been given the real coverage it should be, I don't know about over there, but, you know, and then all the paedophile rink, the paedophile rink in Westminster, full of drunken uh, child abusers. So the thing with Britain and the UK... Idiots, except for myself, who likes to apply a lot of nonsense and philosophy with you good people. And God bless, and up the shire, God bless you free theatres, get it gone down. So what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Quick, quick, going to say? quick Thank question. You, Tommy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Quick question. Do you have a show? Because I really, really, really want to listen to it. <laughs> It looks like we've. Uh, it says internet connection problems. So Tommy's oh, gone. Oh, I want. He needs a show. He he, he, he is a, a talker. Show. I'll tell you what. So was, <laughs> I don't know how he got from drinking to the environment, but that was awesome. And then we're talking about health, and I we didn't even say a word. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just chuckled. Um, yeah. So I mean, what he was talking about is we're reading this article from the Raw story about. Uh, Drinking while pregnant, and apparently a UK court has ruled that, well, the mothers can't be held responsible for the obvious and uh, discernible actions, the, the the clear foreseeable action results of their actions while drinking. So going on here, it says, while there's no suggestion of charges against the mother, women's rights groups had warned that it risked opening the door to police action against other pregnant women with uh, alcohol problems. And... Ferretti, head of the British Pregnant Advisory uh, Service, and Rebecca <laughs> Schiller, the chair of birth rights, hailed the decision, saying, this is an extremely important ruling for women everywhere. What organization? It's uh, British Pregnancy Advisory Service. <laughs> Bippus. <laughs> Let me guess. The organization is men. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Could be. <laughs> um, what do they do? 
I mean, what is the job description? I I I have to know. I'm Hold not on, sure I have that to this look is this up. Even uh, an org, I, it may be sort of a uh, a women's rights, uh, women's pregnancy advocacy organization, and not necessarily a government agency. Just because it says British, doesn't mean that it's actually a British government agency. British Pregnancy Advisory Three Committee ser- service. Uh, the UK's highest courts have recognized that women must be able to make their own decisions about their pregnancy, said a joint statement. And I think that some of the difficulty here, especially when you're in, talking about a country where they have uh, socialized health care, is that woman's decisions about how she's you know, going to drink during pregnancy and raise a kid with fetal alcohol syndrome who can barely think his way out of a wet paper bag uh, is then going, that, that kid's probably going to be uh, you know, a ward of the state for, the, for their entire life. So you're just creating problems here when, uh, uh, you know, I, I get that people should have the rights to do it but th- in this case your rights go affecting other people greatly i think that this organization may have named itself the wrong thing why is that i just looked it up the british pregnancy advisory service yeah. it says every year at bpas we help thousands of women who are considering abortion with over 40 years of experience we are the uk's leading abortion specialist <laughs> This is, these are not pregnancy advisors. <laughs> these abortion are, advisors. <laughs> this, this is the opposite of pregnancy advisor. Yeah. So the Court of Appeal <laughs> judgment caps a five-year legal battle between the council and the Criminal Injuries Compensation Authority about this issue. So there you go. It's uh, fine and dandy to drink heavily while you're pregnant in Great Britain. 855 450 free. Free Talk Live, 855 450 3733. From the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. Americans in 1787 were skeptical of the proposed U.S. Constitution. It proposed a much stronger national government than they were used to, and although the new government's powers were limited, Americans knew that government often breaks promises. A Bill of Rights, Thomas Jefferson said, was something everyone was entitled to against every government on earth. So supporters of the new system pledged that, if it were approved, Congress's first act would be to adopt a Bill of Rights as an extra safeguard against abuses. And they kept that promise on December 15, 1791. The Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments, along with government's limited powers, remind us that the Constitution was not written to make government more efficient, but to protect us against government and to secure our natural rights to life, liberty, and property. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, Now. just imagine there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Hi, Cheryl. Um, I kind of stumbled onto you. I drive home from work on a Saturday night and um, heard you guys the first couple times I heard you, and I thought, what obnoxious jerks have they got on the radio? <laughs> you sound right like my now. wife. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, I grew up very conservative, grew up in Kansas, moved to Florida, um, but you guys have really opened my mind. Um, well, now, wait a minute. You opened your mind. We just gave you a few I don't uh, know. Tips. You know, like I said, I, I was... It was more of a, like a car wreck. I couldn't turn away. Really? You know, I had to listen to you because I'm like, I cannot believe what these guys are saying. And, uh, you know, so I was a little, you know, I'm 43. You know, my daughter's 24. She'll be 25 this year. And, mm-hmm. you know, it was kind of the stuff that was coming out of her mouth that I just took as kind of a, just a crazy you thing. But um, you guys have, have absolutely opened my mind. Free Talk Live. Seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Lauren. You know, when you're online, you need to consider your privacy. Consider ProXPN. ProXPN is a global virtual private network. So you, when you go online, it essentially encrypts all the information running from your computer to the website to which you're going. Your ISP, your internet service provider, isn't able to, uh, well, they, they're going to record what you're doing, but it's just encrypted, so it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook. They're, they, you know, they're not able to, to you know, record what you're doing, where you're going, and all that other information. It protects you against people who are uh, spoofing your network and uh, sniffing packets and all these things that I'm not entirely sure what they are, but know that they happen every day and people lose valuable information like credit card information and checking account information. You wake up tomorrow, you're broke if you don't have Pro XPN. Brooke. And you don't want to be broke. Brooke. <laughs> so go to proxpn.com slash FTL and sign up. Uh, if you use coupon code FTL50 and you get the annual account, you're going to save, it's about five bucks a month at that point. You're saving 50% on, on the lifetime of the account. So not just the first year. It doesn't go up after that. It's five bucks a month and you save 50% off forever and ever. So there you go. It's proxpn.com slash FTL and use coupon code FTL50. It also helps you in the case of, uh, you know, the ability to privately torrent, uh, get past regionally blocked regionally blocked websites um, and, you know, servers all around the world. So it's not just, you know, one server in, say, the Netherlands. They do have the Netherlands, but they got, like, Singapore and London and a variety of other places, too. It is, again, proxpn.com slash FTL, promo code FTL50 to save 50% off of ProXPN service. So, in Tacoma, Washington, a state bureaucracy is threatening a mother with removal of an infant unless her entire family subjects itself to flu shots. <sighs> this is the dilemma that foster parent Jamie Smith is currently facing. So, it's hard enough when you have somebody who's, uh, you know, to get the... There's all kinds of bad people, not to say the majority or anything, in the foster care system. And here you have a good one, and they're going to kick her out over her beliefs as far as flu shots go. Now, I've read a story where flu shots were this year uh, 23% effective. So that's three out of the four times ineffective. And I've also seen estimates like as low as 5% effective some years. You know, they have to guess some period of time in advance what the mutation of the flu virus is going to be at that time. The sickest I've ever been in my life are the two times I've taken a flu vaccine. You know who's a big supporter of uh, the flu shot? Okay, who's that? Penn Jillette. Good for him. I just had him on my show to talk about vaccination. Yeah. Um, and he basically gave me the, you know, if you don't get a flu shot. You hate don't, the world. <laughs> don't come in my house. I see. You, we are not friends. Um, and so I, I, I love Penn. Like he's a good guy, and he's you know, um, been a good friend to me. But you know, I got, I gotta say, I 
I think that vaccines are the best thing we have right now. And I think you're a fool for not using the best thing we have right now. However, I would put flu shots as the exception. Flu shots are, uh, they take the the five uh, b- biggest strains of Most it like- from the previous year. Yeah. And they put dead or almost dead uh, strains of it into a vial, and they inject you with it. So they're injecting you with with the most popular strains of it from the previous year. Uh-huh. There's no ability to know whether it's going to be popular this year. There's billions of strains of it. Trying to prevent yourself from getting the flu. I, I'm trying to come up with a witty comparison. But I, you know, it's one of those things where you're wasting your time and making yourself sick. Well, why are you doing that? If stop it. Uh, if okay, for, if for instance, uh, I, uh, people get very activated. I get very activated about the flu shot. But there are people that take the they get the flu shot and it's it's meaningless to their life. They just go on after that and everything's fine and dandy. Um, but that's not the way it is for me. If I get a flu shot, at least I've had two flu shots and I've been sick for. Several days as a result had temperature as high as 2000, or excuse 2000, 102.7, you tell I'm on the radio, 102.7. and it really, you know, really messed me up. But there are some people, like, for instance, my fire department, we always have uh, the, you're able to get the flu shot for free uh, because, you know, we're, uh, you know, health, yeah, health that, care workers. That right there is sketch. <laughs> <laughs> the well, fact that we can get this for free makes me nervous. Well, I, I mean, there's that obviously... should make you nervous too. Guess what? There's no such thing as free. Well, no. so what is the price we are paying? The town is, I'm sure, kicking in on that, or the uh, local hospital, or whatever. I'm not talking about that kind of price. So all I'm saying is, is I don't, I don't think there's a conspiracy around them. I just think that they are largely ineffective. And there oh, there's are- no conspiracy. There are agents in these things. There are nondescript things that we are not allowed to know what they, what's in them. And there's also small doses of mercury in them. Yeah, I, I saw another thing about thimerosal being in the, uh, the the. I thought that thimerosal was in nothing any longer, but then I re- saw something about no. it being in flu shots. No, instead they came out with a study that says that small amounts of mercury are good for you. <laughs> well, I know that they removed thimerosal from some vaccines, um, and people are responsible for checking that out on their own. I There is a study, by the way, that thimerosal isn't particularly... Thimerosal is not my concern when it comes to flu vaccine. I don't know what it is about uh, flu vaccines that messes me up, but uh, it, it's something. And so, in this case, this lady has a has a belief around vaccines. Whatever her belief is, that's her business. But the... Uh, but going force? Here. Yeah, well, it's it's not exactly force. So let me let me read the story to you. This is the dilemma okay. that foster parent Jamie Smith is facing. The Washington Department of Social and Health Services (DHH) DS. HS is giving the Tacoma family until February to comply with the mandated regime of influenza vaccines imposed on every member of the family, or else they will lose their youngest child, a two-week old foster infant that was born on Christmas. So uh, a babe, an infant can't get a flu shot. And they, you know, basically say, since it's there, since it's in the foster system, it's the state's kid, right? They get to decide. And they say, this is how we're going to run things. You either get the shot or the kid goes to some other home. So if you can see how they're, it's a foster child placed with the family I think it adds an interesting sort of twist here. Obviously, this woman's taking very good care of this child, and it seems very, um, I mean, you know, I, it, it, she looks like, for all the world, like a person who cares very much and is trying to do her very best. Ms. Smith is dedicated, she's a dedicated foster mom and has fostered seven babies. She currently raises five children, including an adopted four-year-old daughter. So I assume the other four kids are hers, uh, but I... You know they're they're not being entirely clear about uh, all the the situation. So it looks like she's got her own kids, she's got adopted kids, and she does the foster kid thing. I suspect she has doesn't have. A, I suspect she's a stay at home mom with all this kind of time on her hands. Um, Sounds like a like a good good parent. Yeah, well, she's it looks like she's uh, trying to do her best. Her objection to vaccines is based on safety concerns for her family, and I'll read uh, some quotes here from her in just a moment. But I want to go to, well. 
The uh, online name is Socrates von Hayek. Socrates, you're That's on Free exciting. Talk Live. Hey, guys. How are you doing tonight? All's well. What's on your mind? Good. Does anyone remember uh, when Pierce Morgan took the vaccine last, I believe it was about a year and a half ago on television? The flu I believe vaccine? it was Dr. Oz that injected him. Was it a flu vaccine? Yes, it was a flu vaccine. Okay. Okay. And he said, um, as he was getting the vaccine, he goes, so this doesn't cause the flu, right? There's no way in hell I'm going to get the flu. And Dr. Us says, it's impossible that you get the flu. Yeah. And he followed it, obviously, with a week and a half of being sick on air, and which he admitted was sentence like the flu-like symptoms. Yeah. That, that was pretty funny. I saw Lawrence actually interview with Penn, and I, I, I actually thought it was quite quite annoying how, how adamant he was about talking about People that don't take the vaccine are putting others in danger. I, I, re, I mean, I kind of reject that concept in general. What do you guys take about that? There's a, actually no proof for herd human, immunity. And, you know, I wasn't going to get into it with Penn because he's uh, he's got one of those personalities that you really don't want to get into it with him. I really just wanted him to voice um, what he thought. But here, here's the thing. There's no actual proof for herd, hum, herd immunity because vaccines wear off. Um, after a certain period of time, but that time has not yet been defined. You don't really know when they wear off, so there's no way to actually prove that people are all vaccinated at one period of time. Well, um, I'm, I get these same flu-like symptoms uh, when it comes to taking a, a flu vaccine, and uh, you know, the sickest I've ever been. It's 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 very disturbing to me that the idea that people are going to be sort of forced into it, and they're really pressuring people. Socrates, I'll hold on to if you're interested. Eight. Uh, 855 453. Safety, safety, safety. I'm saying it three times. Studies show you need to hear something three times to remember it. Three times. So remember, safety, safety, safety is important to me, me, me. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products to help keep our facilities safe and people safer. Say it with me, kid. Safety, safety, safety One from Granger, Granger, Granger. <laughs> when you think safety, think Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or stop by Granger for the ones <laughs> who get it done. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. <laughs> this is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month edge. after month, that turned out to be such an infectious <laughs> brain worm. House, so to so make it up to you, hot. I'm offering a free gift. Yep. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Apparently, I dirty talk. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, January 21st, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,295, silver at $18.02, and Bitcoin is trading around $212.85. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. With civil unrest occurring all across the country, being food secure has never been more important. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, Ross Ulbricht trial week two is underway in New York. With the San Francisco man facing a laundry list of charges in connection with the operation of the now-defunct Silk Road online marketplace. A key to Tuesday's proceedings was the ruling by Judge Catherine Forrest that speculative statements as to the identity behind Dread Pirate Roberts, the alias of Silk Road's operator, will be prohibited and only questions regarding physical evidence and provable facts related to the identity will be allowed in the record. The ruling came in response to a motion by the prosecution related to last week's defense cross-examination of the DHS special agent who revealed that there was a time that it was suspected that the CEO of Mount Gox and not Ulbricht was the Silk Road mastermind. Last week, over 50,000 protesters marched in Germany against the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership and genetically modified organisms and factory farming practices. Over 120 different organizations came together to stand against the TTIP and the possible introduction of GMOs and other American farming practices in their country. Activists also condemn farming practices popular in the U.S., including the heavy use of pesticides and antibiotic injections in farm animals. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. The Liberty Beat is also brought to you by My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, January 21st, 2015. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. Only days after accusing the president of Argentina of covering up a bombing, a prominent Argentine prosecutor has been found dead in what is being called a suicide. Alberto Nisman was the lead investigator into the 1994 car bomb that killed 85 people at the AMIA Jewish Center in 1984. He was scheduled to present his findings to Congress this week. Nisman's ex-wife said she did not believe he killed himself. Following the announcement of Nisman's death, a crowd of around 2,000 people took to the streets, screaming, murderer, as they surrounded the presidential palace. Whistleblower Edward Snowden recently told a Russian news outlet that he never uses an iPhone because of special software that collects information from users. Snowden's lawyer says his client prefers a simple phone and avoids Apple products. His lawyer stated that the iPhone has software which can activate itself without the owner having to even press a button and easily gather information about the user. These claims back up similar accusations previously made by another hacker and forensics researcher. A detainee being held in Guantanamo Bay Military Prison has released a book titled Guantanamo Diary, detailing his experience being subjected to rendition, torture, and interrogation. The Liberty Beat is brought to you in part by WatchMyBit.com, the first ever micropayment-based video service. If you're a content creator, visit WatchMyBit.com to learn how you can use Bitcoin to generate revenue for your art. That's WatchMyBit.com. Support for Liberty Beat also comes from the Conscious Resistance Network, featuring videos, news reports, and articles, all from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. According to a study released Thursday by the Princeton University Department of Biology, this local two-year-old woodland chipmunk has crafted a far more secure and dependable plan for the future than eight out of ten Americans. Reporters spoke to citizens to get their view on the study. Clearly this chipmunk is pretty impressive. I mean, he wakes up every morning and says, I need to collect acorns and berries for the winter. He sets goals for himself and he gets it done. He has to make a burrow in a tree stump. That's exactly what he does. He doesn't pause and have a snack and lay around for a few hours. Out of nearly 40 separate interviews, 
interviews with Americans, 33 told reporters they were very impressed by the chipmunk's continued display of foresight, personal responsibility, and pragmatic decision-making when considering his own future. He's preparing for winter, he's building a home, and he's trying to get enough nutrients to make it throughout the rest of the day. All this while being worried about uh, maybe getting eaten by a wolf or an owl or something. Earlier this week, the electricity went off in my home because I forgot to pay my bill. It's the second time this year. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever is on your mind here on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Lauren. 855-450-3733. Or you can give us a uh, call on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. Uh, that's lrn.fm on Skype. All you have to do is send over a contact request, and then you can call us. And usually the audio is quite a bit better on Skype. I don't know of other radio programs that are letting people call in on Skype, but uh, Free Talk Live does. So there you go. 855-450-FREE. Um, going back to Socrates von Hayek, we were talking about uh, uh, vaccines here. And uh, so do you have something else, sir? I do. I want to switch gears slightly to Liberty Forum. Okay. Cool. My, co- uh, my co-host, I, I host a show called Unity Evolved. I'm sure you guys are familiar with a guy that goes by Liberty Phoenix. Of course. Uh, yeah. I Lauren, love that man. Oh, I know. He he said, he actually let me know that you specifically, Lauren, are hosting a panel on polyamory. Is this true? <laughs> it is true. Rob, uh, Rob Mathias, my best friend in the whole world and i are hosting the polyamory panel how can i get on in this i've been practicing polyamory for 15 years i'd i'd love oh, to get cool. the planning on this yeah um send me a message um that would be super cool to get you involved in that because you know rob um has his uh you know, group of people that he's with and, you know, I'm just doing the single thing. And if you've been doing this for 15 years, it'll be great to get uh, a really super good broad perspective on it um, because I'll kind of be talking about uh, what it's like, how you can still be polyamorous and, and single. And, you know, Rob will be able to talk about the ins and outs of dealing with his various relationships and, and you can talk about experience and all the things you've been through. I bet you bet. I'll awesome. message you on Facebook, I guess. Yes, definitely. Uh, Lauren Nicole. All right. I will do. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for the I call. just put that on air. Now people are going to shock me. It's going to be a bunch of that. Um, yeah, I, this, the polyamory thing is always sort of very interesting. It seems to be a growing movement. Um, I, I I think that it's certainly not for everyone, but um, it's kind of interesting to, to hear about. Nothing else. Let's go to, is it Pemper? Is it Pemper? Free talk, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? All's well. What's Good. in your mind? Hey, I was thinking about that this is uh, vaccines um, dilemma yep. that you guys were talking about. Uh-huh. Like, do vaccine or not to? Yeah, this is specifically uh, flu vaccines. I think that they're in a sort of a different class from the rest of the vaccines. But, yeah, go ahead. I I disagree. I, I, think, I think nowadays people underestimate the power of of organisms and the and and how they'll evolve to uh, survive like uh, monsanto you know had all those crops that grow poison inside of them and now all those um, bugs are immune to poison and they are that way because you tried to eradicate them it's the same thing with the polio or uh, the flu or anything else when you try to. Uh, but what about smallpox? Eradicated. eradicated polio, nearly eradicated. Were they though? Were they? Well, I mean, you don't yes. see any cases of polio in the U.S. Thank goodness. Very few places. But how, how do we? How do we know that they didn't just spawn into a different disease and then just evolve well, polio? Well, whatever they did, they're not. They're not crippling people like they were. I'm sure they're still, they don't call it polio, but they have a disease that's exactly like polio, same symptoms, and it's actually worse. What is it? 
I don't remember the name of oh, it. It's okay. one of those new technical terms. Yeah, well, I I don't know. I mean, like the thing about vaccines is I think they generally do what they say they're going to do as far as, uh, you know, protecting you against the particular disease. But it's difficult to know what else they do. I also don't like that the drug companies aren't held responsible financially for any uh, problems that may occur. Um, they, you know, they, they don't have to pay out a uh, you know, a court case if uh, if the vaccine is found. As a matter of fact, you can't even uh, sue. They have immunity on it. So it's just a real mess as far as that goes. Well, that's the most honest thing they do. I mean, they're you're basically going to them and saying, intentionally infect me, please. I mean, they can't guarantee that. They have to tell you. I mean, it, it, there's no sane way of saying, here, give me a virus and then Oh, you were responsible for what happened. Of course, it's, that's what you asked them to do is to injure you. Well, in in many cases, these uh, viruses are dead, um, and they they really can't do anything. Um, these are just you know that your the antibodies are built up in in that manner. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, a doctor, but uh, well, certain dead viruses lead to uh, different types of bacterium too. So, I mean, what does that mean? You. Certain well, dead yeah. viruses lead to certain types of bacteria. What does that mean? So when you have a virus that's uh, affecting the body in a certain way, killing certain uh, organisms, and they decay a certain way. Uh, it's it's like a hospital. You in, you you sanitize everything, so now you have all kinds of bacteria that just immune to everything. Yeah, I think that that's an issue. I don't know if it uh, it's the same issue for vaccines as it is for, say, antibiotics, but hospitals are, well, I mean, you know, there's uh, sick people all over the place in hospitals, so they're very dirty places as far as that goes. Thanks for the call. 855-450. By the way, Mark, the, uh, the polio-like disease that he's talking about is uh, enterovirus D68. Oh, okay. Yep. There you go. Well, you know, one thing I know is polio was crippling people uh, back in, you know, before there was a vaccine. And the uh, the JCs with whom I have uh, done some work, um, actually the Rotary Club, uh, has, uh, you know, they've they've taken on polio and had a great deal of success in sort of beating it back. Uh, it's almost completely eradicated. There's a few countries way out in the 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 wilderness that uh, still have it, but uh, largely gone. So let's go on with this. Uh, this article here regarding uh, what happened with this foster mom who doesn't want to get flu vaccines for her family. And the state of Washington is threatening to take away a two week old foster child that she's been taking care of. And here she is. Uh, Miss Smith is her name. I've done a lot of research on it, and I don't like some of the side effects that it has, she said. Smith says that she's worried about mercury in the vaccine and its effects on the brain. She doesn't want her or her five children exposed to that, even if it means losing the little one. I've thought about this a lot, said Smith. Unfortunately, I have to think about our kids who are in the house first, and to me, they're more important, their safety, than trying to fight this, uh, to fight to keep this little guy. Among the alarming vaccine ingredients that uh, Ms. Smith referred to um, is thimerosal, a drug stabilizer that contains the compound, whatever, mercury, a known neurotoxin. Now, again, poison is in the dose. I think that's important to know that there's, I just had my water tested not too long ago. There's strychnine in it, but not so much strychnine that it's a problem. They have mm-hmm. a tolerable limit for strychnine. And it, they have a box here that looks like it might be a vaccine box, and it does say each dose contains the preservative thimerosal, mercury derivative 25 MCGs, whatever those might be, mercury dose. So anyway, I don't know if that's, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I thought the thimerosal had been removed from all vaccines, but apparently not. Flu shots like the ones listed above are responsible for a host of neurological disorders and other serious side effects, according to the DOJ's report on the National, National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program, which settles vaccine injury claims since the drug makers are legally blameless um, by, by Congress for over half of the compensatory claims handled between uh, basically in 2013. And they were for adverse reactions to flu vaccines. The injuries, uh, they've got a whole list of injuries here that uh, they include, and I'm not going to read. That's all the of thing. Them. You don't need the injuries. I mean, a lot of people, 
I don't like when people start to make arguments with like injuries they've gotten. Why don't you just look at the things that are in it? That should be enough. That's that's a good enough argument. Don't list off all of these injuries. It's well, it, it, I, those could be attributed to anything. It weakens your argument. I suppose that's the case, but one time I asked somebody when I said that I, the sickest I've ever been from a flu vaccine is how many times do I have to get the flu vaccine to prove to you that um, the flu vaccine makes me sick? He said, 20, of course it makes you sick. 23. I have to I have to get sick 23 times in order to prove this guy my experience. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think Excuse you are? Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait, no, now. Wait a minute. Whoa, hey! Oh my God! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Why are you running from? Because you're scared of your property. What am I being now? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm.
Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call and talk about what's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Lauren. 855-450-FREE. Let's go to, well, let's go right to the Skype call. So we got uh, Liberty Phoenix. Yay! Liberty Phoenix, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, Liberty! Hey guys, how are, how are you guys doing? I know like people hate it when like, someone asks, how are you doing? But guess what? I'm going to do it because I really need it. I'd like to know. It, it, is your bunions okay? Oh yeah, they're fine. All right. Um, you guys <laughs> were talking about uh, the vaccines and everything. And yeah. when I was uh, during my military service, we'd always get you know the, the nasal shots every every single year. Nasal right, like, shots? Lock, what the hell is yeah, a nasal shot? Well, not shot, shot, but the, the nasal mist, I should say. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, it was like clockwork. And was it was like... always... Did they give you Just a shot in your nose? Yeah, that stinks. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Ouch. that new one. It's better than Crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No matter what would happen, every single time that, that we would get these, uh, the nasal mists, we'd have to go out into the field, and it'd be for, you know, sometimes up to four or five days, and it's in the middle of the winter. And every single time, by the, by the time we'd all get back to the, to, the, to the reserve unit, at least four or five guys had, had you know, collapsed from exhaustion. Uh, you got guys puking all over the place. It was it, it was it was every single time. It, the, I, I guess they really just don't understand the concept of you know building immunities uh, versus you know destroying them so that you get even worse. Yep. But the the main issue that I have with the 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 idea of whether or not you should or should not get vaccinated is that I can't really trust any of the studies because I guess the majority of those studies that are cited in my opinion, just aren't credible because they've been funded by one think tank or another. Yep. That's my so issue there's, with I it. Yeah, there's, there's just not enough hard, true evidence that I can make a true decision because I can't trust any of them because they're all government bodies and they're known for corruption. And, and the, the goalpost moves on the claims by the sort of vaccine deniers, too. I, I mean, I think that there's there's critique to be had on all sides here, right? Um, like, for instance, you know, once you once the uh, vaccines remove thimerosal, then it's something new. And, um, you know, it's difficult to know. I think each individual has to sort of make that decision for themselves. I've taken the flu vaccine. I've gotten very ill as a result. I'm of the opinion that, you know, uh, that's for my son, who is, you know, genetically half like me. Um, you know, I'm not going to take those risks. And would you give? Would you let your son play with kids who had chicken pox? Uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't willingly put him right in with kids that have chicken pox. No. That, well, yeah, that, that's the whole. You know, the whole wives thing. You know, they they get all the kids together that have. Chicken pox, they all get it when they're young. You don't have to worry about them dying when they get older. Yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't have them juggle, knives, e- j- my, juggle knives either. My mother did that. It worked for me. Um, I got it while I was young, and it really wasn't that bad, and I barely even remember having it. See, that's something that, that you know, there's hard evidence to prove that that method of, of parenting or, or of, of protecting your children from diseases, it, it works because it's, it's, we've got a... a a litany of hard evidence of human knowledge to go and back that up. The, the these studies, I just don't put enough faith in them. There you go, I and mean, and that's I think in a free country, that's just sort of what we have to deal with. I mean, you know, whether people, whether you know, some people are hardline science on this one. I tend to err on the side of science, but my personal experience matters to me. Wait, what? What free country? <laughs> <laughs> Liberty, you're awesome. Thanks for the call. 855 450 free. I love that man. He is awesome. Yeah, I think that uh, you know the it it the government kind of gets in uh the middle of this and it creates all kinds of problems. So when you have a for instance, if you opened a private school, Lauren, and you said that uh Every kid that goes to that private school. <laughs> we talked about this on Penn in my interview. <laughs> they had to uh, take a vaccine. Uh, they had to be vaccinated in order to get go to the school. I'm cool with that. I think that's fine. That's I mean, fine. That's yeah, just it's somebody a private... in the marketplace coming up with how they want to run their business. And I can see why other people would want to be on board with that. Yeah. And just no force. And I mean. The problem is. Don't force me when I'm paying your freaking 
checks. You're right. The, when the, I'm the, writing your checks, don't tell me what to do. That's what happens in the public school system where everybody has to get vaccine vaccinated unless you have a religious or uh, philosophical. Some places have philosophical exemptions. Um, and then at that point, what's the point in, in man- mandating it? OK, well, I don't have a philosophical uh, uh, you know, exemption. What, do you, what are we expecting here? If- you know, who has to mandate things that are actually good? I mean, that that right there makes me nervous. I mean, I, I well, if they it's mandate so great, which side of the road to drive on. If um, it's so great, why do we have to mandate it? Well, no, no. You know what? People would naturally drive on one side of the road. And you know what's so screwed up about the whole thing? Is that we're not even driving on the correct side of the road. Which is the correct <laughs> side? You think the English side is the way to do it? Well, at least it makes sense. Why does it make sense? Because that way everybody knows and we're not all screwed up when we try and drive in some other country. I see. Well, at least let's just all do it the same way. I Jeez. think most of the world drives on the side. I, I, if, you're, if you're using the argumentum ad populum where most of the world does something, I believe that it's actually uh, the, the way the U.S. drives is the most most common one. Also, you have to consider that uh, that's the way they drive in Mexico and Canada, directly adjacent countries. So, um, I mean, I, I can't even. I think even in uh, down in Belize, it's the same. Uh, it, it's the the same, and that's an English uh, protectorate on the mainland uh, North America. So, it makes sense that if you can drive a car there, that uh, you know they would all be on the same side. You know, Mark, people would figure it out. It's just it's not that complicated, and I really. I still believe that people have brains in there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Um, yeah, well, I, I think that as far as the public school situation goes, is uh, it's it's really just the, it, it's a difficult situation when you try, you, you put all these kids together and then you tell them they've got to be vaccinated unless they've got a religious or philosophical exemption. Eh, that's just going to, it's just going to fall apart. It does The system doesn't work. If you want to do it in your private school, that's fine. If you don't want to vaccinate your family, I think that, you know, as long as you've, you've thought about it, it's your business and not mine. Um, I think that you probably should have a conversation with uh, other families that uh, maybe your kids play around and they could make decisions as to, you know, who's going to play where or whatever. You know, some, some it's their responsibility, the responsibility of these kids that have been vaccinated to ask the parents of the kids that they're playing with. Have your kids been vaccinated? And then you need to make a decision. I mean, this is called be an adult. I talked about this on my panel, the be an adult movement. Grow up. Stop making everybody required to do things so that you don't have to think. Yeah, I think that uh, most most libertarian types, most liberty oriented folks are going to say that, uh, you know, they wouldn't use the government to force people to uh, get vaccines, whether they agree with them, agree with vaccines or not. And I know that this the liberty movement tends to be quite split on this uh, particular issue. So there you go. 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Let's go to Matt calling in from New Jersey. Matt, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, my name is Matt. I'm uh, just calling in to let you know that I'm not vaccinated. How old are you? Uh, 29 years old. Oh my gosh, please stick around. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Hold the line. You got it. Lauren wants to talk to you. <laughs> 855 Oh, this is going to be good. 4503733. That's 855-450 free free talk live. Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good health. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. Genesis is defined as an origin, creation, or the beginning. Genesis Communications Network began with the mission of providing you with a kind of compelling content you're listening to now and at gcnlive.com you'll find a free archive of our nation's history narrated by gcn hosts explore share and pass down to future generations gcn is the future of talk radio but we should always strive to learn from our past together we are gcnlive.com gcn 
This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. We also have other pain-relieving braces, too, for your shoulder, ankle, or back. You may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you, so please call now. 800-301-2963. Majid lives in Nord Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel it any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at LRN.fm. Free Talk Live, 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want, but we've been kind of doing the vaccine thing here tonight. Yeah, and, that was the thing. You know, it's it's one of those topics on Free Talk Live that it brings them out. So there you go. 855 450 free. It's Mark with you. And Lauren. If you're going to do your online shopping, why not do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com? We've got major retailers there, including Amazon.com, where you can do your shopping. And when you click on those links, bookmark those links, and use those links every single time, the purchases that you make, uh, Free Talk Live gets a little spiff, gets a little bonus on them. And it's the same price, the same service, same everything that you normally get. It's just an extra click to help us spread the ideas of liberty far and wide. And we appreciate it if you use it at shop.freetalklive.com. Matt just called in. He's 29 years old and has never been vaccinated. He's walking around like a filth-filled pariah infecting us all. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Well, if you're vaccinated, what do you have to worry about? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, but isn't, um, isn't, what do you think of the, uh, herd immunity theory? You know, I've only recently heard about that herd immunity. Um, I'm not so sure how to feel about it. If you get everyone vaccinated and then everyone's immune. Well, the idea is is that, um, you know, enough people are vaccinated that the disease doesn't have the opportunity to sort of spread, I guess. Um, You know, that essentially it's 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 blocked in enough that it doesn't have anywhere to go. 
And, and that, I guess that's based on the assumption that the vaccine is going to work 100 percent of the time. No, I don't think it uh, is based on that assumption. Vaccines don't work 100 percent of the time. That's why the more people that are vaccinated, the better chance it is that the that it'll be working because the people okay. around whose vaccines are working. And, you know, it's this really complicated thing that sounds ridiculous. But anyway, what's your opinion? <laughs> so growing up uh, unvaccinated is only half the story. My father was a chiropractor, and we lived very healthy lives growing up. Okay. Uh, chiropractic care is definitely a, the other side of that coin, 50% not getting the vaccines and 50% had being taken care of by a chiropractor my whole life. So is this um, uh, sort of handling with spinal adjustments, that kind of thing? Is that what the chiropractic you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because so, a lot of chiropractors these days do a lot of different things. They do the sort of, uh, um, you know, uh, supplements and all kinds of stuff. So they um, mm-hmm. they branched out a bit. That's a, that's a good point. It's funny. There was a commercial for a spinal doctor while I was waiting. I thought that was kind of a, a co- funny coincidence. Mm. Is that, but, it's interesting. It must have been a local station uh, commercial because it would, uh, um, unless unless they're selling something nationally that they could do. But uh, Free Talk Live being a national show, we you're going to have different ads airing in different iterations of the show. National show. show. <laughs> um, 160 so, stations. I was wondering. Wow, that's a lot. Um, so uh, I was wondering how many times you've been sick, and was it any ah, different than other people? Yeah, do you get sick more often, less often, or about as often as anybody else? Yeah, and is your sickness different? Growing up, comparatively to kids my age, uh, I was the healthiest person I knew and the healthiest person all of my friends knew. I never got sick. I got sick maybe once a year um, with a with a cold. It would last a day or two, and I'd be over it. Um, I hear this and all really, the time from the unvaccinated, like parents of unvaccinated kids, and I hear this from people who haven't been vaccinated. They they always claim to sort of be healthier than everybody else. I, I mean, it's I wonder sometimes I wonder whether it's sort of perception and other times um, yeah. I wonder whether vaccines in some way compromise an immune system. I just don't know. I am so glad you called. You are proving my points right now, and it's just great. Confirmation bias. Everybody loves that crap. <laughs> I, you know, I'm I'm somebody that tries to stay level-headed about things, but when I find evidence that I'm right, I get a little happy about it. So, <laughs> well, it's it's anecdotal evidence at best. You have to be that's you know, true. You have to be honest with yourself. Um, well, go back. Also, well, get out of here and come back with some science, Matt. Yeah. Um, Thanks for the call. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, I would love to interview him. If if you're listening, Matt, you should add me on Facebook because I really want to interview you're doing, somebody. You're doing these interview this this interview program of yours. Um, speaking of level headed, <laughs> I uh, have the probably the most level headed person I know on Skype. Calling in, Dr. Stephanie Murphy, Woo! former Sunday show uh, Free Talk Live show host. Calling in, probably to correct some mistake I've made, Dr. <laughs> Hey, Mark, and hey, Lauren. How's Hi, it going? Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> cool. Um, so Mark actually Mark actually sent me a message. This is a little bit inside baseball here, but Mark actually said, can you call in if it gets stupid? And uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was quite to the point where it was getting stupid. I actually like the last caller, but um, I did want to call in because I had some thoughts about flu shots, if you want to hear them. Yep. Of course. Let's give some credentials here real quick. Um, you yeah. are a... Uh, you're a I, PhD so I've got, in research in in medical research from Dartmouth. Am I right? Yeah, that's about it. Okay. I've got my PhD in biochemistry, and I also went to medical school for two years. I was going to become a physician scientist, but I actually made a career change, and now I'm a voice actor. And actually, if you uh, if you like the sound, I'm coming to you from my home studio here. So yes. yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, good. what a beautiful sound it is. Yeah, and I, I would like to point out one thing. Whenever whenever you say this, it always kind of uh, leaves me wondering. I, I bet people wonder about this. You changed because the stress was just just not for you, right? Like it was absolutely. It, yeah. I had uh, one of the highest board scores in my class, actually. But I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Speaking as someone who does really well on standardized tests, the tests don't mean anything. It's a stressful lifestyle. I didn't want to do it anymore. It was already kind of getting to me, and so I left of my own accord. So yeah. So your thoughts? Okay. So the thing about flu vaccines is like. 
why, if they were so great, if they were so helpful, why do they have to push them so hard? And when I say they, it's kind of nebulous, but I mean like the public health people, uh, employers are now kind of like forcing their employees to get flu shots and sort of making it into this like, well, it, it, they almost talk about it the way they talk about, well, you, you should get your vaccine and people get these stickers like I got vaccinated and it almost reminds me of those stickers that say I voted, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like trying, see that, you trying to impress, right? That's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't hear you say that, but I mean, it's, it makes total sense. It's like, if, if these were such great things, why do they have to push them so hard on people and uh, threaten people's jobs? You know, if they don't get a flu vaccine Isn't and that when you actually look at the time that uh, they're sort of implementing some new uh, public policy is, is there's a push for it and that kind of thing. I mean, I don't know that they're ever going like a flu vaccine is sort of a different uh, concept than other vaccines. You're never going to eradicate influenza. No. Um, and actually, if you look at the statistics of how effective flu vaccines are, it's abysmal. Yeah. There's something in medicine called the number needed to treat. So that's basically how many flu shots would we need to give out to prevent one case of the flu? And it's on the order of like 100. Like you have to give out 100 flu vaccines to prevent one case of the flu. It varies from year to year. But if you think of, well, a flu shot is maybe 30 to 60 percent effective. at 23 get, uh, this year from what I saw. Oh, that's worse than usual. So, yeah, I mean, it can be that low. So even if you get the vaccine, odds are you're not going to be protected from catching the flu. And you might also experience the negative side effects of the vaccine if it has any. And also, like, what's the likelihood that you would actually get the flu or get exposed to it, right? It's only a few percent a year, probably depending on a lot of factors, like how many people you come in contact with at work and stuff like that. So in a cost-benefit analysis, for most people, it's just not worth it, especially if they're concerned about um, allergies or if they're concerned about maybe the ingredients or stuff that might be contaminating the flu vaccine. Sometimes they're, the vaccines are produced like in eggs and people can be allergic to eggs and it can cause horrible reactions. Uh, there can be other viruses that contaminate the flu that, vaccine. That, Stephanie, because oftentimes they just, like they'll talk about the the flu vaccine and they'll, they'll talk about the benefit of, you know, well, either you get it, either it helps you or it doesn't help you. So it makes perfectly good sense if it doesn't affect you to just go ahead and get the shot, right? Like you pay a few bucks, you're either protected or you're not You can not get protected. it for free at some places. Right. Grocery so, stores have these campaigns. Get yeah. your flu shot for free. And did you hear that point I made before about, I mean, nothing's free. What, what's the catch? I mean, <laughs> yeah. what do you, what do you think of that? I think the government subsidizes it. Um, and I don't know why they would want everybody to get them, maybe to help their buddies in the pharma industry. Dr. That's Murphy, my guess. can you hold on for a moment? Sure. Thanks so much. Yep. 855 450 free. Talking about vaccines tonight on Free Talk Live, 855-450, free. Lose the winter blues and warm up with hot flooring deals from Lumber Liquidators. Thinking about hardwood? Consider bamboo. We've got the number one brand and we'll help you get it for less. Like Strand Bamboo. It's twice as hard as oak and for a limited time, only $1.99. Why pay as much as $4.99 for bamboo at other stores? We've got deals in over 70 styles from an incredible $1.79. Plus, pre-finished hardwood, laminate, and more for less than half what you'll pay somewhere else. And 18 months special financing. Now is the time to warm up your home with new floors. So visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. DB Books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. 
We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Final segment of Free Talk Live. I'm not going to give the... uh, the, the numbers because I just don't think we can uh, squeeze anybody else in. But I Stephanie's will here. Do my very best to get everybody who is on on, as it were. So, um, yeah, it's Mark with you. And Lauren. Real quick, if you like what Free Talk Live does, and what Free Talk Live does is something different than, well, any other organization uh, around, because Free Talk Live brings the message of liberty to. Uh, more than 100 radio stations, more than 150 radio stations across the country. Uh, these are regular FCC-licensed radio stations that are otherwise airing, you know, conservative talk or liberal talk. Um, and Free Talk Live brings the message of liberty. And that is, if that's worth something to you, you want to spread that and find us on more stations and more different uh, listening venues, then join our AMP program at amp.freetalklive.com. It's not giving us money. It's not giving money to Ian and or I or any of the co-hosts. It's only about using, we only use that money to advertise, market, or promote Free Talk Live in some other manner to get in and, more And ears. to pay for Objectivist Girl to come on. <laughs> I would, I would, you'd, you'd love to have a nice big check. <laughs> I would. I think I've earned it. <laughs> 855 450 free. Let's go back to Dr. Stephanie Murphy. We were talking about vaccines here. Um, the There's a situation where a foster child in Washington state may be taken away from a family if they all don't get the flu vaccine. Dr. Murphy? I think that situation is really like um, an issue of power and dominance. It's like you will walk off the edge of this cliff if we tell you to just blindly. And what they really don't like is that the mom is um, going against the grain or disobeying, I think. 
Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, obviously, it's difficult. It's got to be difficult to find good foster parents, especially of infants. They're they're very difficult to take care of. Uh, they're a lot of work. You're up several times, uh, oftentimes several times a night, taking care of them, and uh, they're going to take her, take this child, this little girl, out of a home where she's being cared for. All about flu vaccines, and at this point, it's this year. It's not a particularly effective vaccine anyway. Yeah, I think the flu is probably like the worst of this child's problems or, or the least of this child's problems, excuse me. Yeah. You know, it's not really a threat to her safety. And that's the thing with any vaccine. I think there has to be a cost benefit analysis that goes on. Like, what is the bug that you're trying to protect yourself from? Is it going to kill you? Is it going to make you really sick? In the case of the flu, for young, healthy people, it's not. And it's actually unlikely that you'll even be exposed to it. And it's unlikely that the vaccine will work. So it seems like kind of a no brainer that it's not really a good idea to get it. And there's also uh, like the HPV vaccine. Lauren, you might be familiar with this because there's course. a lot of. There's a lot of talk about this that goes on in like, uh, you know, the sex positive world and podcasts of yes. people who are polyamorous. And a lot of people like Dan Savage are like, oh, this is the greatest thing. It pre protects people from cancer and genital warts. But actually, if you look at the vaccine, it only protects against a few strains out of like 50 some odd. Exactly. Uh, strains of the disease. And it also, it has like a, a very high rate of people passing out after they get the vaccine. Well, what's you have the big to get deal about that? A little passing uh, well, out? <laughs> if they're driving home after they get it, that could be very dangerous. Um, and, you know, there's other people who allege there's like neurological things that happen to people. I don't know about those claims, but it definitely it's right there in the documentation of the vaccine's own manufacturer that it does have a higher rate of people passing out after they receive it. You have to get three doses. They're all very expensive. Um, insurance doesn't cover it unless you're younger than 26 years old. And by the way, if you get HPV, it's not going to kill you, especially if you get regular well, checkups yeah. if you're a woman. And Isn't it like two thirds of Americans have HPV? Of some strain. And yeah, most people, their body clears it on their own, especially if you have a healthy immune system. And I mean, you're fine. It's it's very, very, very unlikely to kill you. And it's unlikely to even pr protect you. The vaccine is unlikely to protect you from anything that's really going to impact your life. So that's another one. I don't feel like for for me anyway, it's not worth getting for you. Maybe it's different. But yeah. yeah. I, and I think another really important point to make is is not even whether it's effective or not. It's that these agents are getting involved in these families' lives. And, I mean, think about all of those other things that exist in the home that are more imminent danger to children uh, don't than flu. Chainsaws. Yeah, than the flu. And so, yeah. you know, uh, what are they going to do next? I mean, we have to stop this. This is not something that can be accepted. Whether people should be getting the flu vaccine or not is not even the primary debate. It's that force and allowing force to be the agent by which we, pr we quote unquote, protect people is going to limit our society in a way that's so incredibly significant and much worse than any flu. Stephanie, do you have anything else uh, you want to discuss? Yeah, absolutely. No, I'll let you guys get to some other calls. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Appreciate the call. Greatly, actually. Uh, She's let's amazing. Go, <laughs> let's go to uh, Nathan here. Uh, Nathan calling in from Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. Nathan, can you hear me now? Uh, I believe so. Okay, what's on your mind? Um, a lot of things, but I wanted to ask you if uh, uh, on your farm, you, know, you, you said you raise pigs and not chickens. Correct. Yes, I have. Uh, well, I raise pigs during the summer months. Uh, that's the nice thing about having pigs is you get them in the spring and uh, they they uh, go to heaven in the winter time. Well, uh, is there a particular reason you uh, don't like chickens? Are they too troublesome to breed, or is chickens, there some other reason? Yeah. So here's my sexist uh, uh, joke on uh, chickens and pigs. So pigs are like a girlfriend. Chickens are like a wife. Uh, once you have chickens, you're going to you've you've got them every single day. There's feeding. There's egg collecting. There's everything that goes into the care of an, you know the animal husbandry. You're trying to get them to to lay. You're trying to constantly get them to lay in the right. Spot. Spots. They have.
have to, you're trying to get them to breed. You want them uh, to protect the eggs the, when the hen's getting broody. Um, you, all these things, and it just never ends. Once you get them, you got them, and that's it. Um, whereas with a pig, you buy some a or some. You should always get more than one pig because they're uh, they're social animals and they need to have a little company. But you, you buy your spring pigs in the spring. You try to get them as early as you can. That way they'll be nice and big when you uh, take care of them in October, November, December, depending on what time of year you want to do them. And then you've got the winter months. I've, you know, I take care, took care of my pigs on December the 14th. They went to heaven and I won't have to worry about pigs again until sometime in April. <laughs> well, uh, there was a recent episode of the Survival Podcast where Jack Spierko was talking about the benefits of raising ducks versus chickens. Okay. And I was wondering if you'd ever considered that or uh, thought about maybe doing something like that. No, there's people that raise ducks and chickens and all those things uh, in my immediate vicinity. My wife can get that stuff. I, For one, I have sort of a limited palate. I, I, I don't want to eat anything I consider weird. So I don't eat lamb. I don't eat duck. Um, I will eat Well, it that's a subjective word. Yes, weird. it is. It is, certainly. <laughs> but... W- Preferences are subjective. <laughs> yeah, but well, there, there um, some, health is I was not. Say, there are some more. There are some more objective uh, traits of ducks, like they give more meat yep. and they like the cold and rain. And he See, talks about I them win. in I think podcast podcast episode fourteen ninety three. So uh, if you if uh, anyone's interested in the adventures in ducks, they can go download that. But the he makes it sound like they give more meat. They give more meat and might might be easier. I'm not sure about that. Well, there you go. Um, a lot of times when you're raising your own poultry, you're going to want to do more stews and things where the uh, meat is sort of cooked in, um, you know, soups and stews and things like that. It just uh, t- tends to work better. Um, many times when you're talking about uh, chicken or duck off the bone, um, you know, when you, when you get a farm raised stuff, it's just not what we've gotten used to with the um, chickens that never get to move. Um, you know, they they're fall <laughs> off the bone tender for a reason. They never had a chance to move. Well, uh, now I want ribs. I've never actually. So, sorry, what, Lauren? Now I want some ribs. This is just not even. We we have to talk about food, really. While I'm on the air and can't go get food, yeah, yeah, I want just a ribs. Few more minutes. So bad. No, but then I'm gonna well, sing a song like, with Derek J. There you go. <laughs> you have to be like Daryl and Ian and bring your food before the show starts. So. Thanks for the call, Nathan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Daryl. Speaking of Daryl, Daryl on uh, calling in from Austin. Daryl, you're on Free Talk Live. Okay, um, talking about the vac- va- vaccinations. There's a lady. She wrote an article, and I can't remember where I read it. That she was not vaccinated because she was not vaccinated. She got certain ailments that really did a number on her. Uh-huh. Because of that, she now vaccinates her own kids. Okay. You know that was kind of an interesting article. At it's the other side of it, right? Honest about what she went through. Yeah, and she wasn't talking about flu vaccines. That that thing's um, that thing's a little different. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. So yes, they are different. Just, I agree. Yeah, pretty much you can get everybody to agree that this flu shot is different than regu- than other vaccines. I'm I'm sort of surprised yeah. about Pendulette's uh, stance on the flu vaccine. But, yeah, so was I. Um, Everything else, I I was fine with. I agree with him on. It's the flu I that I did. I don't get a flu vaccine unless one of my kids gets it. And I was like, yeah, I'll get it just in case. Yep. But, well, Daryl, I appreciate uh, you letting us know about it. Thanks so much. No problem. Yep. Well, there, there you go. Um, you can check us out in the meantime at freetalklive.com. And uh, Lauren, your website? Uh, Facebook.com slash Lauren Rumpler Productions. Indeed. And go get uh, past shows at archives.freetalklive.com. Thanks so much. Drive safe. I'm a- House of Representatives Bill 323, the IHOP should stay open all night so we can get some Pancakes Act. This bill was submitted for immediate review very late last night under the provisions of the National Emergency Legislation Act. Can we turn in the lights? It's really H.R. 323 would, by federal order, require all IHOP restaurants to, quote, remain open 24 hours effective right this minute, even if some manager has to get out of bed and drive down here to start making some pancakes. Well... We stand by the bill. Right. We wrote it, apparently. This bill would also require the federal government 
pay to build a tram or monorail or whatever connecting yeah. the Black Sheep Pub right, on North Capitol Street to all IHOP restaurants. I think in the we city. made some illustrations. The of bill that. gives the estimated cost of the tram as probably not even that much. You are wasting my time and the time of this Excuse committee. Me, I gotta go. What, mm. Congressman? This committee is go. still in session. You can't. This is the Onion News Network. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. Silver is trading at $18.22 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,291 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $234. Antiwar.com reports, after months of on-again, off-again ceasefire, Ukraine resumed its civil war this week, attacking eastern rebels. Russia is leading the calls to get the ceasefire back in place, urging a cessation of hostilities and for everyone to withdraw their artillery from the front line. The U.S., which has never been keen toward any of these international ceasefire plans in Ukraine, is once again outraged by the plan, calling it a Russian occupation plan. The U.S. complaints center around Russia not having a full rebel surrender as part of the peace plan and similarly not promising to give Ukraine military control of the Crimean Peninsula. Crimea seceded from Ukraine last year and was annexed by the Russian Federation days later. The initial Minsk ceasefire sought to bring the rebel east back under Ukrainian control with promises of reforms. With the reforms not happening and the rebels refusing to disarm in the absence of them, the latest Russian ceasefire proposal isn't nearly as ambitious as the Minx one, and is focused instead on just stopping the war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Wired reports Silk Road, for its more than two and a half years online, was an unprecedented online narcotics emporium. But according to a journal found on the laptop of its alleged creator, Ross Ulbricht, Ulbricht wanted it to be even more, a brand that extended from communication tools to banking. In the trial on Wednesday, prosecutor Timothy Howard read aloud from a journal that was found on Ulbricht's Samsung 700Z laptop, which was seized at the time of his arrest in a San Francisco library in October. 2013. The journal, which goes back at least as far as 2010, seems to provide the most detailed look yet at Ulbricht's plans for his libertarian contraband market. And the journal reveals that before his arrest, Ulbricht had allegedly planned to create a Silk Road brand chat software, currency exchange, and more. According to a 2011 page from the journal, Ulbricht had allegedly planned to expand the Silk Road into a brand people can come to trust and rely on. Silk Road Chat, Silk Silk Road Exchange, Silk Road Credit Union, Silk Road Market, Silk Road Everything. The roadmap for Silk Road was never detailed in public by the Dread Pirate Roberts, the figure who ran the market and often authored posts on the Silk Road user forums describing the market in revolutionary libertarian terms. Albrecht's journal will likely serve as the centerpiece for the evidence the prosecution has assembled to prove the narcotics conspiracy, money laundering, counterfeiting, and other charges he faces. Albrecht's defense attorneys have 
suggested that they'll show that while Ulbricht did in fact create the Silk Road, he gave it up to the administrators who would become the Dread Pirate Roberts. Roberts, they argued to the jury in their opening statement, eventually lured Ulbricht back onto the site to serve as the perfect fall guy. The defense has yet to explain how a detailed journal of planning and managing the Silk Road ended up on Ulbricht's computer. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Vice President Joe Biden said on Wednesday there's a chance he will try for the Democratic presidential nomination in 2016. In an interview with ABC's Good Morning America, Biden said he has several months to make a final decision if challenging former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the Democratic frontrunner and presumptive candidate. Biden said, yes, there is a chance, but I haven't made up my mind about that. We've got a lot of work to do between now and then. There's plenty of time. None of the potential candidates in either major party have made formal announcements. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Inclement weather prevents a liar from getting to work, and a lunchbox is mostly medication. Sources across the nation impatiently reported today that the 24-hour news cycle seemed to be taking forever, telling reporters that the continuous coverage from MSNBC, CNN, and other news sources was simply not continuous enough. Frustrated Americans demanded more panel coverage, around-the-clock bulletins, and breaking reactions from Twitter. It's like, sure, I have five channels of unending news updates constantly flooding my screen, but each one of those only has one slow-moving news sticker. Why not three or four running at triple speed? Honestly, these networks need to understand that I can't just wait around all day for minute by minute coverage. And in this week's science news, a new report finds that lake ice grows safer to venture out on with each beer consumed. In other news, the beauty industry announces a new initiative to make women self-conscious about their palms. A beautiful cinnamon bun is too good for this world, too pure. And a picky eater is 38. This is the Onion News Network.